and welcome to yet another episode of Sports Connect. But this time it's with a difference because we bring to you the Olympic special. I am your host Sakshi Mandwal and in this special show we will bring to you all the exclusive and trending news of the world's greatest sporting event, Rio Olympics. Yes, from the virtual world. But before we proceed, let's take a quick look at this video that we have for you first. In a unique and what you may call to be an unprecedented gesture, the Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi went ahead in a special interaction which he did individually with over 60 athletes who would be representing India at the forthcoming Rio Olympics. The Prime Minister offered words of encouragement to each of them. He also chatted informally with several athletes who drew out their mobile phones for selfies with the Prime Minister. Later in the day, the Prime Minister took to Twitter to share his photographs with each player with words of encouragement for each one of them. Several sportspersons appreciated this gesture of the Prime Minister and responded by sharing their own selfies and photos with the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister also retweeted some of these tweets including those of boxer Manoj Kumar and wrestler Yogeshwar Das. And here is an exclusive look from inside the summer's sporting venues. And here is some good news for all the sportspersons travelling for the Olympics this year to Rio de Janeiro which begin off in the month of August. Well, the sports ministry has said that Indian athletes will get Indian food in the Games Village for next month's Olympics. The Indian Olympic Association too had requested the Olympics organising committee to include Indian cuisine in the menu. The sports secretary also confirmed that the athletes will get their daily allowance from the moment they land in Rio. India is sending its largest ever contingent to an Olympic who will represent the country in Rio Games beginning the August 3rd. And it's time now for a short break but we'll be right back so stay tuned with us. And DD Sports starts its countdown to the 2016 Rio Olympics with Saina Nehwal bringing us that bronze medal in the London Olympics. Take a look. Another good 
rally. Again. Well, in athletics, the world's fastest runner Usain Bolt's wish and somewhere dream of becoming the only man to be able to run in the 100m, 200m and also the consecutive relays and win them in consecutive Olympics may seem to be a far-fetched dream for now. Why? Because he obviously has suffered a hamstring tear during the Jamaican Olympic trials. Bolt expects to be fit for Rio, but he has yet to set the qualifying time needed in the 200 meters, having not competed in the event since last August. His intention remains to run over 200 meters at the anniversary games in London. Bolt's arch rival Justin Gatlin set the fastest 100 meter time of 2016 to secure his Rio qualification at the US trials, clocking 9.80 seconds. <laughs> And Michael Phelps, the most decorated Olympian of all times with 22 medals, secured his spot on the plane to Rio with three individual victories at the US trials. Katie Ledecky, who won 800m gold at London 2012 as a 15-year-old, also booked multiple spots and is expected to be one of the stars of the Games this year. <laughs> Athletes who test positive for the banned substance meldonium after next month's Olympic Games in Rio may not face the sanctions under the new guidelines. The World Anti-Doping Agency has extended the period in which athletes who have been tested positive may not be punished. Those found with low levels of meldonium in tests before 30th September can now be cleared. Meldonium was added to WADA's list of banned substances in January this year. <laughs> And Colin Montgomery has criticised the elite golfers who have withdrawn from the Rio Olympics Games this year. The Scot bemoaned the absence of Jason Day, Rory McIlroy and Adam Scott, all top eight players in the world plus a dozen others who have ruled themselves out, citing health fears. And mountain biker Grantford Gusen has been added to the Team GB cycling squad for this year's Summer Rio Olympics. The 22-year-old will compete in the cross-country event on 21st of August. The Scottish rider won silver at last year's European Under-23 Championships and bronze at the World Championship in Andorra. Ferguson's selection, which follows the initial squad announcement last month, takes the number of British riders competing in Rio to 27. And here is a quick wrap of all the Rio Olympic news from all across the globe for you. Three-time national hammer champion Amber Campbell threw a lifetime best 74.03 meters on her final attempt to put a gloss on her qualifications for the Rio Olympics at the American Trials this week. Gwen Berry returning from a three-month suspension for using a prohibited medication and collegian Deanna Price both threw 73.09 meters to make the US team. Berry finished ahead of Price in the final standings due to a better second throw. The Americans will not have a male hammer thrower at this year's Olympics unless the International Association of Athletics Federations opts to fill out the field to a targeted 32 athletes. Currently, only 23 athletes worldwide have reached the standard. Masters winner Danny Willett says he is willing to risk a trip to Brazil to compete at the Rio Olympics in August. Several of the sport's top players, including world number one Jason Day and Rory McIlroy, have drawn because of concerns over the Zika virus. McIlroy also said last week the Games were not the pinnacle for golfers. Russia has named a 68-strong athletics team for this summer's Rio Olympic Games despite being banned from international competition. Athletics' governing body first imposed the ban in November following allegations of widespread state-sponsored doping in the country. The Russian Olympic Committee and its athletes last week appealed against the decision to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. 
the final decision is due on 21st of this month, the International Association of Athletics Federation has said a handful of Russian athletes could compete in Rio as neutral athletes. The International Olympic Committee's deadline to achieve qualifying criteria for the Games is 11th July, though the Russian Olympic Committee says that would be extended should Code of Arbitration of Sports rule in favour of its athletes. Gregory IV says he may never fully recover from an inner ear problem, but the attraction of winning medals means he will not miss the Olympics. Britain's Olympic long jump champion suffered whiplash at the Diamond League meeting in Birmingham last month. Rutherford says there is one in four chance he will not recover from this condition called Collier Hydrops. He added, if it wasn't Olympic year, I would quite possibly be taking some time out to get it sorted. But I like winning medals. Former world number one Caroline Wozniacki will represent Denmark at Rio 2016 after overturning an international tennis federation ban. The ITF had ruled the 25-year-old had not played enough Fed Cup games to qualify, but she successfully argued that an ankle injury had forced her to miss matches. DD Sports continues the countdown to the 2016 Rio Olympic Games with the moment Gagan Narang won the bronze medal in London Olympics. Take a look. And now we bring to you this amazing video. We do hope you enjoy it. And now we have some interesting Rio Olympics 2016 facts for you. Did you know? It will be the first Olympic Games ever held in South America. Did you know 306 competitions in 42 different sports will be held in 17 days? Did you know golf returning after 112 years and rugby returning after 92 years will be the new sports of the Olympic Games? Did you know there will be 33 different venues in 4 different districts of Rio de Janeiro that is Copacabana, Barra de Tijuca, Diodoro and Marcana. Well, let's now show you a look at where the Olympic flame has reached. And some of the highlights from the 2012 London Olympics. We hope you enjoy the video. And on that note, it's time now for a short break, but you stay tuned and lots more coming up right after this break for you.
and now it's time for some news from the sporting world but before that we have a video for you so take a look Moving on to our next segment in trend which is all about the hashtags that dominated the world of Twitter in the week gone by. So let's give you a quick wrap of all that happened in Twitter trends this week. Star golfer Anirban Lehri will be aiming for a summer to remember as he prepares to tackle three of the biggest tournaments of the season starting with the Open at Royal Troon next week. The reigning Asian Tour number one is keen to hit top form ahead of the year's third major as the famous Scottish links from 14th to 17th July, followed by the PGA Championship in Baltusrol two weeks later and the opening games in Rio de Janeiro in mid-August, which concludes a frenetic month of golf. Larry will take his fourth appearance at the Open where he enjoyed a tight 31st outing in his debut in 2012 which included a magical hole in one during the third round and equal 30th last year. Bollywood actor Shah Rukh Khan's wish of owning a football team could come true as the star is understood to be in talks with Indian Super League to buy a Kolkata based franchise. Khan is co-owner of the Indian Premier League franchise Kolkata Knight Riders and could seize the opportunity when the ISL expands to 10 teams and becomes a top-tier league in 2017. In 2012, Dempo Sports Club had broken Shah Rukh Khan as a co-owner and now SRK is eyeing another iconic football club, East Bengal. Deepa Karmarkar received a major psychological boost ahead of a campaign in the upcoming Olympics in Rio de Janeiro when she was named a world-class gymnast by the International Gymnastic Federation. Deepa had only a few months ago become the first Indian woman gymnast to make it to the Olympics. The letter of distinction also carries a special badge which she will be carrying during the Olympics. FIG decided to honor her following her fine performance in the World Artistic Gymnastic Championships held in Glasgow last year. Deepa finished fifth in her favorite vault event in Glasgow before bettering her performance in an event in Rio in April this year to ensure the Olympic birth. Well, we all do know what a world-class magical wonder a very young girl who comes from Tripura is. She just came, she conquered and she won the hearts of all and still continues to do for she reigns in our hearts and lives over there. Let's now shift our focus to the most happening social media platform for the youngsters which makes their heartbeat zoom up to the next level. Yes, you are right. We are talking about Facebook. More in this report. In tennis, India's miserable campaign at the Wimbledon ended as defending mixed doubles champions. Leander Pace and Martina Hingis were knocked out in the third round by scratch pair of Britain's Heather Watson and Finland's Henry Continen, who played their first match together. The Brit Finn pair beat the 16th seeded Indo Swiss pair 3 6 6 3 6 2 in a well contested three setter. Pace and Hingis had completed a mixed doubles Grand Slam after their French Open victory, having captured the Australian Open. Wimbledon and US Open titles in 2015. Former England captain and batsman Nasir Hussain now has his name registered in the Guinness Book of World Records for taking the highest catch of a cricket ball. A bat cam drone dropped the ball down from 32 meters and Hussain, who appeared in 96 tests for his country, dropped the ball at first attempt but then caught it on his second try. The challenge was organized at the Lord's Cricket Ground. The Real Madrid star opened the scoring early in the second half before Neni doubled their lead shortly after to fire them into the finals. Wales Euro 2016 dream ended 
as Cristiano Ronaldo was superb to dump out the shocked British semi-finalists. Gareth Bale and company were bidding to be the first British team in a final since England won the World Cup in 1966. But the fairy tale run to the last four in their first major championships since 1958 was wrecked in land. Real Madrid ace Ronaldo turned in a man of the match display with a fine header to open the scoring after the break before his assist for Nene to wrap up victory. And what could have possibly been one of the most exciting semi final clashes to have taken place in the Euro history? This year, we had Wales up against Portugal. And at the end of the day, even if the Welsh were eyeing that win in their pockets, well, clearly it did not seem to be in their favour. As Cristiano Ronaldo's men took on the Welsh fairy tale and brought it to a massive end, defeating them 2 0 in style. Now, Cristiano Ronaldo's men will be up against France in the finals next week. And this could be one of the most exciting finale clashes for all the fans of soccer sitting out there from across the globe. And India's captain in the limited over series, MS Dhoni, turned 35 this week. Dhoni is not only India's most successful captain in history, but he is the only captain in international cricket to have won all three ICC tournaments. We wish him a very happy birthday and a long life ahead. India's most famous and successful captain across formats, MS Dhoni celebrated his 35th birthday on Thursday. Having retired from Test cricket at the end of 2014, Dhoni continues to lead India in the limited overs format. Under Dhoni's captainship, India became world number one in Test cricket in 2008, a year after they won the inaugural ICC T20 World Cup 2007 in South Africa. In 2011, Dhoni's side became the first in history to lift the 50-over World Cup at home when they defeated Sri Lanka in the final at Mumbai. In 2013, Dhoni created history when his side pipped England in a rain tourniqueted final of the ICC Championship Trophy at Lords. As he became the first captain to win all three ICC trophies that are there on offer, Dhoni retired as India's most successful captain in Test cricket. In ODIs, Dhoni again led India in a record 194 matches. India won 107, their only achievement in triple figure under a captain. A quick look at how the social media reacted to Captain Cool's birthday. Hashtag Happy Birthday MSD and Happy Birthday Captain Cool were trending on both Facebook and Twitter. And I'm sure the budding athletes would love to see themselves on our show. So, this is totally your space where you can send in all your sports related pictures of the achievements till date. And we promise you, we will show you those pictures in our next episode. You can send us your pictures via email. Our email ID is ddsportsconnect at gmail.com. Remember, it's connect with a K. So, don't miss that. Now, it's time to wind up this show. But before going, we leave you with this question, which of course is our sports quiz. You must be curious to know the correct answer of the last week's episode. Well, the correct answer is sports coaches and the winners are Pooja from Hubli and Gayatri from Chennai. And friends, today's question is, in which Indian state did the game of polo originate? Your options are A. Meghalaya, B. Rajasthan. C. Manipur D. West Bengal You can tweet us with your answers using hashtag SportsQuiz on Twitter and Facebook and we will announce the winner's name in our next episode. Also, you can mail us your answers on ddsportsconnect at gmail.com Do connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. You can follow us on twitter.com slash channel which means that our Twitter handle is ddsportschannel also, you can like our Facebook profile page, that is www.facebook.com 
slash Doordarshan Sports and subscribe to us on YouTube. That is YouTube slash Doordarshan Sports. For bloggers out there, you can now share your articles with us. We promise you that we'll post the most interesting one on our DD Sports blog. That is ddsportsindia.wordpress.com. You can send us your feedback about the program on DD Sports Connect at gmail.com. Well, friends, with that, we have come to the wrap of this episode of Sports Connect. We do hope you enjoyed our today's show. We'll meet you next week, same day, same time, only on your favorite sports channel, DD Sports. But before leaving, we leave you with this amazing video. We hope you enjoy this video. Catch you again, same day, same time, only on your favorite sports channel. Reminding you once again, DD Sports. Till then, have a lovely week ahead. Goodbye. Take care.